Welcome to today's video talking all about creatine supplementation for endurance athletes. There's so much research out there about how beneficial it is for resistance training, power sports, and sprinting. What about endurance athletes? Are there performance benefits? What does the research say? Even now, there's not a lot of research. Scientists thought that it was either not beneficial or that supplementing with creatine was actually detrimental to performance because of the water retention element. Not everybody experiences this. Some people do. Essentially what's happening is water follows creatine. When the muscles take up creatine, water follows. And this also explains why there's some GI symptoms that you might experience. Not all of it is absorbed in the stomach. It travels to the GI tract where it's broken down by a bacteria in our gut which causes gas and it draws water into the gut, which causes diarrhea. So just some side effects to be aware of. <laughs> you also might experience extreme thirst because the water, even though you're bloated and you're retaining water, it's not usable water to where it needs to go. It's trapped in the muscles with creatine. So you could be very thirsty. Moving on. Is it worth the side effects? We know. As endurance athletes in a race, the pace is not steady the whole time. There's surges of pace. There's a finishing kick that you need to have if you want to set yourself apart. You need to tap into your creatine stores. And now that researchers are revisiting endurance athletes and modeling study protocols after these typical race day dynamics, you're seeing that there is a benefit to endurance athletes in this context of that finishing kick. So there is research to support that if you're supplementing with creatine, you can have a better finishing kick in your race. Other benefits, creatine might act as a blood buffer to blood lactate, so lactic acid, which is what causes the jello legs. So you can keep that at bay for longer, potentially, if you're supplementing with creatine. Other benefits, it's an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Very important in the process of muscle recovery and muscle repair. So from that standpoint, mitigating muscle damage after high training volumes, heavy training loads, creatine might benefit endurance athletes. Also interestingly, this is the last point, there's a lot of growing research in the context of pairing creatine supplementation with a high carb diet to enhance the muscle carbohydrate storage. That's obviously gonna impact performance in some way. One more thing, I mentioned at the top that creatine is very, there's a lot of research supporting its use in resistance training. We know that in this day and age, 2024, endurance athletes aren't just going out and running, they're in the gym too, incorporating strength training because that is how you improve your running economy, become more efficient as a runner. I'm using running because I'm a runner. This applies to any other endurance athlete. In that sense, it can indirectly lead to performance gains because it's enhancing your resistance training day performance, if that makes sense. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.